Hey guys, oh, why do I still got my mask on? Hold on. I don't have the vid. Um, every time I wash my bathroom, I don't know. Comment down below if that happens to you, but I feel like within the past year, the toxins or of the like Clorox and stuff gets to me in my system and it becomes too much. Let me go over here. It becomes too much, so I just, every time I wash my bathroom now on Sundays, um, most of the time I put on a mask so that the, um, so when I, I don't inhale, that's the word, I don't inhale the Clorox and stuff like that too much because I do, that's the one thing, when it comes to my bathroom, I'm like, I spray a lot, I'm cleaning that because I feel like, I don't feel like, we you know, like, especially bathrooms hold a lot of germs and stuff like that, so I just clean like crazy, but as you guys can see, I got box braids, back two braids, I wasn't initially going to, I was going to just stay with my natural hair, but to be honest, going to the gym now on a consistent basis because I have a membership, which is new. Well, it's not new. I did mention it in my Walmart or Walmart haul that I start, I'm starting to go to the gym. But if you just happen to pop on this vlog, yes, I am committed to losing the weight seriously this year. I've said it every year and every year I didn't have no goal of doing anything. So I was like, you know what, Abigail, get a gym membership. The gym is really not, it's literally walking distance from my house. Um, so, and when I get off work, it's right there across the train station, so there's no excuse for me not to go to the gym. For that, I'm actually going to head to the kitchen and refill my water bottle that I, yes, I still use it because this is like old water that I never threw out and I'm just going to put some fresh water. Um, I like to put my um, water in the, if I can, in the fridge because I'd rather have cold water, not lukewarm water personally. Dan and Light Plus Fit Protein with Berry. So I wanted to have something in my stomach before I go to the gym. So I thought this would be a um, better alternative just to get something in my body. Not too heavy. I'm really trying to, um, you know, obviously not eat fast food. I did cheat once or twice. But, you know, everything's a process. Um, process to healthy living. But I think for me, you know, just trying to continue being consistent. Whether that's going to the gym and stuff like that. So, yeah. This is a mixed burger. I said yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you now. I got this from Target a little bit. I want to say January or was it December? No, I think I got it in Jan um, January, which was last month. But yeah, it's called Embrace 100 Devotions. You know, God is holding close. I wanted to, a new devotional. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but the devotionals that I had before were that or that somebody gave me was more like geared to people who were like who had kids and stuff like that this older woman and I'm not old so I wanted something that was and I saw on Target this had really good reviews so far yeah I do like it so yeah I got it from Target I don't remember it being too expensive maybe $13 or something like that then I'm going to try to uh, go ahead and write down content for the rest of this month so I normally don't do this but because it's devotional I'll share a little bit with you guys of this devotional for today it says a life with extraordinary impact after ehud i hope i said that right came shemagar son of anath who struck down 600 philistines with an ox god he too saved israel judges 3 verse 31 i am a woman who makes who wants to make a difference for christ in the world i want my life and legacy to count for something with eternal significance I want to stand before God one day knowing I fulfilled the purposes he had for me. But there's always this nagging sense inside of me that, this, that the world's problems are too big and I'm too small. Can you relate? That's why I'm so fascinated with Shamgar. We learn who Shamgar is in one small verse, hiding at the very end of the third chapter of Judges. After Ahad came Sh Shagmar, son of Anath, who struck down 600, both sides with the ox god which was the verse that i read earlier he too saved israel judges 331 tucked into this one verse we see three things shamgar did that resulted in his life having extraordinary impact he offered god his willingness he used what god has given him had given him he stayed true to who he was and in doing these three things it was enough god used him to see the nation of israel Oh, how Shamgar's story stirs my soul. He was an extraordinary person in an ordinary place doing an ordinary job. The thing that made him extraordinary wasn't anything external. It was his internal drive to do the right thing and to be obedient to God right where he was. His job was to be obedient to God. 
God's job was everything else. The same is possible for us. If we are obedient to God in the midst of our ordinary lives, extraordinary impact is always possible. Okay, this is really long, but it's pretty much talking about that your life has, I'll read the rest to myself, but your life has a um, extraordinary impact. And I, I generally do believe that sometimes we don't, and I agree where it was saying that sometimes you feel the problem's too big, but you're too small to, to accomplish it. But I think in this year, in the season of this year, for, for, for t specifically, um, I'm pretty much trying to be a person where I'm hitting all my goals. Like nothing, nothing is too hard, whether it's me, um, doing weight loss, just doing, just fulfilling all the goals that I had um, on my vision board this year, whether it's major brand deals, whether it's growing, like right now, growing my spiritual relationship with God, building that up, I think a lot of that is important. So you guys, I totally forgot to film when I was in the gym, but I was in it. I did the treadmill, I did some uh, weight machines and stuff like that. I did 50 minutes. I'm going to see if I can show you guys. But my goal is always to do at least 45 to an hour when I go to the gym. Yeah, active calories, 355 and 447 of total calories. Okay, I want to share a few things that I got from Influencer. Now, Influencer, being that this is supposed to be my influencer vlog, another tip for you guys, if you want to get some free products so that you can have brands to review in the interim. Now, from what I know... I don't know how it's working, but I guess Influencer and YouTube don't have any affiliation with each other. So generally, they never tell you to post on YouTube. They'll tell you to post on TikTok. They'll tell you to post on Instagram when you have to do a review. That's the recently I actually got a few free products. One of them was KBD Beauty. I already did a video on that, so I'll link it up in the cards. But recently, within these past, I would say, two days, um, I got two more boxes. One of the boxes in the garage I threw it away, but I'll show you guys what I got. So I got the Black Opium, um, YSL, the Eye St. Laurent uh, spray. Uh, oh, well, yeah, here it is. They always give you this card, the Influencer card, as you can see here, to tell you what to do. But pretty much it's the app tells you when you go in and you do whatever the required review is. But pretty much, um, yeah, the Black Opium. It says it's a zesty and unique twist on the classic Old River from the new... Black Opium Illicit Green Edge of Perfume is an energizing and thrilling woman's perfume. Like a shot of adrenaline, the warm and spicy fragrance features a signature black coffee twisted with lu luscious notes of juicy green mandarin and creamy fig. And I guess not supposed to talk about the product, but I'll just say they said not until next week, I believe, the 18th. So just to give you guys an inside. Um, I did get a product from Maker Forever to review, also from Influencer, as you guys can see right here. Now, I am actually trying to finish this homework, if you will. It's not homework, but it feels like homework for this program that I am. I don't want to get too deep in it, but I'm trying to get into this program, long story short, and it requires me to do these stuff. So I'm trying to work on that. Well, I'm not going to do all of it. I'm trying to, I've been trying to do it in increments because I don't want to stress myself out with doing all of it and just focusing on it all day now that the due date is farther than it was supposed to be. But my goal definitely is to have it done by this week, hopefully no later than Tuesday or Wednesday because I wanted to submit that and just be done with it. I, mean, I think I'm going to relax a little bit after this, watch a little TV because that's what happens most of the time when I'm really being really protective. I mean, protective, productive. TV's like the last option on mine. Watching anything is, I'm just on a go. Whether it's um, posting on TikTok and stuff like that, which also I posted one TikTok. I also want to post more TikTok. And of course, last week I was really proud of myself. I was really consistent on Instagram. Got five days in straight, which normally I don't do. I even posted one, a reel today too. So um, I'm trying to keep that same momentum. It's just a matter of having the content all the time to film and being that it's black history month this is probably the perfect month i was really good last year but i don't know why this year i feel like i'm slacking um in terms of sharing brands and stuff like that that are black owned that i have I, I own and stuff like that i did really good i feel like last year with it this year i've been pretty slacking so hopefully you know i get back into the momentum so that you know i can be consistent and post as much really quickly one thing i did want to share is morning fame 
Now, I think I have a referral link if I'm not mistaken, because this is a referral only platform. I know for sure that that's true. And I think I do have a referral link, so I have to go find it. But yeah, I really have been liking Morning Fame. Sometimes I forget to use it, but what's cool about it is um, keyword research What I is what I like. Now, it depends on the plan you have. I pur purchased a plan, but I didn't get the plan that cost the most. So, meaning, so if you had the higher plan, I don't remember what the plan is called. You can do this keyword search, like, I think every day. But on my plan, you can only do it, like, within, let's say, like, they give you, like, 24 hours or whatever. After that 25 ex 24 hours expires, then you're going to have to wait again to do the keyword research. So, every now and then, if I have a topic that I really want to know, like, what to do. I go on here so as you guys can see you type in the topic so for example I'm just gonna put day in the life since this is what this video is gonna be of a micro let's see sometimes it'll find what you're looking for influencer so you see it already highlighted for me then it goes to the next step which is choose a target search item so they'll show you like keywords and things like that are good for small channels and i like to go here for stuff when i want to really get some good tags now if it says f sometimes it's not good to use something it's good but it depends you kind of have to use discretion but like you can see all the different ones and then you can also scroll down and see other people's that did really well and kind of like you know use what use to your discretion which ones you want to use and if you continue going to search um it tells you like so you see like i said it gives you like an option b is good c d is okay but they tell you how much the composition of course is very high um in this particular thing so again you use your thing and then optimize is just showing you um search your video and then you kind of just see how how the CEO would is for micro influencers like myself, I think it's a good way to help you optimize your videos and your content. Because it's a struggle out here sometimes, you know, we're like, I don't want to say competing, but we're competing against bigger influencers who have like 100,000K or, or beyond. So, you know, CEO is a big thing. Sometimes CEO is great for me, but I think it's also, it's also something that I've been really like aware of trying to find stuff that I know people's going to really watch or just looking at my analytics and seeing what people really, really like to, to watch. So yeah, but yeah, that's a tip. I will leave my thing because I, like I said, I, but anyway, make sure you like, you comment, subscribe. I don't know. I think I'm going to end it here. So if I don't come back yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one.